have another issue, uh, which, uh, which is the issue of taxation and how do we organize uh, uh, our taxes at EU level. I see that uh, uh, after the crisis, um, uh, or now with the crisis of the of the coronavirus, uh, this debate is more present in the agenda. So this is already something important, but we don't have yet anything firm uh, on the table to start, for instance, uh, challenging uh, the fiscal dumping at EU level, uh, the rulings at national level uh, who facilitate profit shifting of multinationals. Um, I'm saying that because we just had the ruling from the General Court in Luxembourg uh, um, annulling the fine that was imposed at Apple. That, that was extremely bad news yesterday. Probably you followed that. Uh, but in a way, as Greens in the European Parliament, we reacted to this by saying that this is a proof this, that we absolutely need to change our different uh, uh, norms that we have that, uh, that govern uh, our taxation system in the EU. So also for you to know that the Parliament has just created a subcommittee on taxation matters, a permanent one. This is an all a request on the side of the Greens, um, and that will exist. It will start working in, in September, um, together with my colleagues Van Giegel and Kida uh, from, the, uh, from, the, from Denmark, we will be the members there. And I think that our role will be basically to push for those issues, huh? to build a common consolidated uh, uh, tax base for the EU, to go for the, the, the very famous um, uh, CBCR, the, the tax transparency for multinationals, which is very important, and also to see how do we break this unanimity rule uh, at the council level in, uh, on taxation matters. So, no big development, no big revolution on that front for now, uh, but the debate is there and, and this, I think, is going to be our, our, one of our priorities. So, we have to invest today, now, into a green economy and stop investing in an unsustainable economy. And that is for sure. And that leads us to a very, very crucial point about uh, the repayment of debt and potential austerity. Uh, effectively, it is impossible to think of a sustainable level of debt in an unsustainable economy in an unsustainable world. Very often we talk about sustainability of debt and before the crisis, everybody was saying, okay, sustainability of debt means, you know, you must not go be beyond, uh, you know, 3% um, uh, deficit, uh, of GDP deficit and 60% and uh, um, uh, debt to GDP ratio. Uh, that was, you know, the so-called mantra for, for sustainability of debt. And there were the partisans of, of this orthodoxy, so to speak, and those who were saying, hey, this is not the essential. We need to invest, you know, to, to build a better world, a sustainable world. Well, today, we know that regardless of the scenario, those 3%, 60%, you know, um, stability and growth pact rules will not be respected regardless. So the issue is really to invest in a sustainable economy, because if we don't invest in a sustainable economy, tomorrow's world will not be sustainable. And if it's not sustainable, that goes back to my previous argument about disruption risk, the world will be disrupted. And if the world is disrupted, you can rest assured that the level of sovereign debt will just explode. <laughs>